President Biden. You, you want to talk to me about you give your bank you records to Congress? Do, 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 <laughs> Let's talk about why I'm here. Will you give your bank records to Speaker McCarthy request? Yeah, let's talk about why he was there. And he wanted to talk about the hurricane. President Biden uh, laughing off a congressional request for his financial statements as House Republicans tease a possible impeachment inquiry. Meanwhile, Biden's Department of Justice is accused of having direct involvement in the Hunter investigation, contacting the sons, the first son's lawyers and the attorneys for the IRS whistleblowers going over David Weiss's head. Fox News contributor, New York Post columnist, leading the charge on most of this investigation, Miranda Devine. Miranda, uh, it was kind of a nervous laugh. Are we going to get to the bottom of this? Yeah, nervous laugh, or really the fact that Joe Biden has used uh, derisive laughter like that as a weapon all his career, and it's worked for him to sort of put off the questioner and show disdain for the question. Um, but look, if he has nothing to hide, he should be answering these questions hmm. because they're coming thick and fast, and uh, he's never, ever addressed the mountain of evidence that's being uncovered um, well, over the last two and a half years, but particularly now by the House uh, Oversight Committee. And um, he, you know, the White House deflects all questions. There's never been any reasons that he's given why those millions of dollars came from China and Russia and Ukraine and so on into his family's coffers. And uh, he needs to explain it. And if he can't explain it, then that just leads the country to think there's something nefarious. And of course, polls are now showing that almost half the country believes that Joe Biden is corrupt, and that includes a majority of independents. So it's uh, inexplicable that he doesn't do something about it. Yeah, uh, this past week, I'm sure you saw uh, our correspondent Peter Ducey asked a bunch of questions about Hunter Biden as they related to the actual White House. And uh, Karine Jean Pierre said, I talked to Hunter Biden's lawyers. Uh, of course, they're not going to talk to anybody about anything. But Miranda, you know that if Joe Biden's essentially you know, he's not going to say anything. They're not going to turn over the bank records. The Bidens are not going to do that. Uh, and they can't, I don't think, with separation of powers, I don't think that the DOJ can compel them, which means next thing you know, we could actually have an impeachment inquiry if Kevin McCarthy can find the votes. And right now he doesn't have them. Look, I mean, I do think it's inevitable, ultimately, that they are going to have an impeachment inquiry. That's certainly uh, what James Comer and, um, and McCarthy has said it as well. And that's what James Comer wants, <coughs> because um, at the moment they, they need a certain extra powers, like the ability to give witnesses immunity. Um, you know, people are frightened to come mm -hmm. before the committee and they're being intimidated by the uh, expensive armies of lawyers that Hunter Biden and his family have amassed. Um, and so I, I think that impeachment inquiry is going to happen one way or the other. And look, you know, it's been very hard going for them. They're coming up against all kinds of obstruction, but uh, they have managed to uncover and release to the public a lot of very damning information. Mm -hmm. And that's thanks in large part to um, these courageous whistleblowers that have come forward mm -hmm. from the FBI, from the IRS and elsewhere. Yeah, they are courageous and they must be frustrated seeing how the administration is using their power to squelch um, any more information coming out, for example, out of the National Archives. What do you know about that? Um, how can they just hold on to this information, these, these, this trove of emails, and not release it when it's so relevant to our current policy in the Ukraine, our current policy in China, if the president is indeed compromised by these countries? Well, exactly. And, and these particular emails that, uh, well, Chuck Grasley and Ron Johnson, the Republican senators, asked for back in 2021, and James Comer has been asking for now, uh, from the National Archives. And they are emails where Joe Biden has used various aliases, uh, I think up to five aliases, to communicate with his son, Hunter, including about uh, sensitive issues such as Ukraine uh, that Hunter was making, of course, millions of dollars from. Right. So uh, that's something that the National Archives needs to release, and they're stonewalling. And yeah. they will we'll pursue the next time you're on this David Weiss angle that they're going right over his head, and he's just a shill. Yeah. Miranda Devine, thanks so much. The great thanks Miranda Devine. Thank you. 
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.